Hello everyone, welcome to another video. In this video, I will show you how to resolve Bell 5TB error code 201W. Now, this is the error code that happens a lot of the times because of the three different things. Now, this error code will either be a signal interruption, so sometimes a weak or disrupted signal can trigger this error code, a hardware or a software issue, or a channel or device specific. Now this will depend, you know, what you have right here, but obviously if it's a signal interruption or a weak or disrupted signal, then you want to go and try to connect your hotspot or you can try and to connect uh, with another internet. You can also power cycle your router to see if that will help as well. Second thing is hardware or software issues. Now, if it's a hardware issue, you can do much, but if it's a software issue, then you make sure you reset your Bell TV or you can also go and you can factory reset it or update the Bell TV firmware settings. Now, this, the third thing is channel or device specific. Sometimes it can, uh, it can and may appear when you try to access a particular channel or use it as a specific device. So if you're using a specific device and you're trying to use it and it's still getting this error code, then maybe it is in that device the problem. So that's pretty much what you can do. Now, obviously, you can check the signal strength. You can try to uh, reset or restart your set top box. So you can unplug it and reconnect it. You can try to contact customer support as well. Now that's like the late, last, last reserve, uh, but you can also go and you can factor reset your set top box, but this will erase your settings. So in conclusion, there are a lot of things you can do. However, nothing very specific. You will need to know if you know your uh, Bell 5TV uh, has error codes with, with, within the hardware or software and you'll need to act accordingly. So that's pretty much it. I would reset my internet, restart the um, set top box and I'll also try to check signal strength as well. So that's pretty much it. Hopefully you guys find this useful. Hopefully you resolve this issue and we'll see you in the next video.